Right? Let's not keep the shower waiting. Must be long these nights. Yeah, you know yourself, you make the best of it. Tell me about it. I was more than glad to escape that party. But you know, we have to show our faces sometimes. I'll tell you though, Raymond, we're never happy. Listen, Jamie, things aren't easy at the minute and uh, your mom and me, well, we need a rest from each other. Would a present tell? Well, it would have to be a pretty bloody good present. Jamie, I might have to go away for a while. To make things that much easier. They killed my family. Yeah, I know. And I'm gonna kill his. And after I do that, Tom, I'm gonna kill him. Jamie, you, you won't get near him. It won't stop me. I don't think she's gonna be coming back. She said that. How do you know? Were you talking to her? Yeah, um, she rang me. She rang you? Well, what are you doing here? Or do you think I need a shoulder to cry on? Well, you see, the thing is, is I've had a bit of luck. That's good. So what did you win? A, a few quid in the scratch cards or something? No. I found him. That's great. You found him. Who are we talking about here exactly? Alright, the Dublin crowd want an answer. Yeah. And like before, the answer is no. Do you have any idea how much money we could make? The guards will be on us like a ton of bricks. Our profits will suffer, never mind the wrath of the locals. Paul, I am not bringing heroin into Limerick City. I'm just saying, you know. Fuck them. We don't need them. Stop, Joe. Why? Jesus, would you look at that. All the bullets. I'm fucking full. Just relax, Joe. I'm fucking relaxed. Huh? We can talk about it, all right? Talk about it. It was just business, Joe, right? Just fucking business. That's all. I have a couple of fucking questions for you, Eamon. And they better be answered fucking correctly. Do you know what it's like to be shot in the oh, fucking knee? Please, Joe, please! I'm a victim of circumstance and the environment I was dragged up in. And I can change things, Robert. I can change things because of my sins and for those I loved who paid for them in my place. And we went into it. And I saw a man sitting on the ground with his back against the tree and he had his head in his hands and it was he was suffering terribly from remorse and his anguish was very great and I understood that he had during his life worshipped the fall a false god and that was the god of materialism and 
And because he was so involved with uh, material things, yet the acquisition of them, and it meant too much to him. He had failed in the area that is most important for us, and that is love. So the people who had uh, were entitled to his love didn't receive it, and this created for him terrible remorse and anguish. Help! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me!